all of us remember what quadratic polynomials are. The general form of a quadratic polynomial is ax squared plus bx plus c where the constant a is not equal to 0. The degree of the quadratic polynomial is 2. So what's a quadratic equation? An equation as we know always has two sides, one on each side of the equal to sign. When we equate this general form of a quadratic polynomial to 0, we get the general or standard form of a quadratic equation. Remember that a is not equal to 0 and the constants a, b and c are real numbers. For instance, 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 equals 0 is a quadratic equation. Comparing it to the standard form, we get a as 2, b as 4 and c as 2. a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant. This is called a quadratic equation in variable x. x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0 is also a quadratic equation. Negative 3x squared plus 12 equals 0 too. Yes, you might not see the x with power 1 in this equation, but it still is a quadratic equation. That's because the degree of the polynomial on the left is still 2. Can you find the values of a, b and c in each of these cases? Here are the values. Notice that in the second case, the value of coefficient of x is 0. And that's not a problem at all. The important condition is that a must not be equal to 0. We can say that a quadratic equation is of the form p of x equals 0, where p of x is a polynomial of degree 2. Does it have any application in real life? Say you're asked to build a rectangular football field with an area equal to 7000 square meters. And you're also told that the length of the field should be 30 meters more than its width. How would you build the field? Say this is the rectangular field. Its area is 7000 square meters. If its width is x meters, then based on the condition given, its length will be x plus 30 meters. The area of a rectangle is nothing but the product of its length and breadth. Hence, x times x plus 30 will equal 7000. Rewriting this will give us the quadratic equation as x squared plus 30x minus 7000 equals 0. And this is nothing but a quadratic equation. But how will this give us the value of x? That's what we will learn in the coming videos.